storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. It's it's the same thing with love. So we're talking about the soul. So the soul moves on. You cannot cremate a soul, but you can bury a body. Soul right. doesn't cremate, but you can cremate the body, right? You've got the ashes. You can't cremate a soul. You can't see it. You talk to a neurologist. You talk to a psychiatrist. You talk to a brain surgeon. Um, they're probably going to say, no, that's not how the soul works as part of the brain. Well, I disagree. There is a soul. We have something that turns us on with the music and feeling of other people. Definitely. A soul mate. We come across different soulmates at different points in our life. The goal is to find the twin. There's mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of being. Most people, we talked about this storm, end up in a quick relationship because they're desperate to be loved. So maybe mental and emotional is there, but sexual and spiritual is not. Or spiritual and physical is, but mental and sexual is not. Something's missing. Yes. But they do it anyway. Then they're miserable. Then they won't even meet at the same dinner table. Then they won't sleep together. It goes on and on. Then they finally either get divorced or just surrender to, wow, I screwed up, right? That's one situation. The karmic relationships that bring in the children, most will turn into a very decent marriage if they learn to communicate. What brought these people together was a soul recognition, whether it was a blind date on campus, on a show, at a convention, at school, well, however you meet, not necessarily on Tinder, but you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's something medicine, else. Right. Like, the real soulmates. No, I, I, yeah, I gotta break it up. But um, you'll recognize the eyes, something in the voice, something deep inside just goes zzz, like like you put your finger in a light socket and you get shot. You will mm. know it's different than. A hundred people, you line up and it's like, uh, they don't turn me on, right? You can't be turned on by everybody. At, well, maybe after, when you're 15, everybody looks good, but we're hormonal. But as an adult, we're looking for love and we get close. Oh, this is it. This is it. Every girl thinks this is my husband. Every guy thinks, is this the one? Because we're programmed to look for our soulmate. We're looking for our twin, which is the other half of us that split on the other side. So 28 years ago, or maybe 35 years ago, you're out there flying around waiting for the right family. Some female spirit or the other spirit, if you were a girl last time, whatever it is that is supposed to be for you in this lifetime, the woman, whatever body she took over came in knowing that at the right point in time, let's say, I don't know exactly when you're going to meet her, but I'm assuming you're a few years away. So let's just throw out when you're 33. Whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. But I'm using that as an example. Okay. She's in preparation. She's going through heartache and tripping over the guys and trying to find yourself. But by the time she sees you or the time you see her, you will have overcome so many of the negatives or doubts or lessons. You'll be ready to open up a friendship or maybe trust or, or, or peel the layers off the onion or the artichoke to get to the heart. We try, but then we get somewhere and it's like, doesn't feel right. Now there's a negative and we're not sure. The yeah buts, you got to listen to them because when you keep going past them, you'll finally get to the blessing. You will. I was proposed to three weeks ago on the 17th. And you said it didn't feel right. Didn't feel right. I knew the guy in graduate school, 75 to 77. We saw each other in 78. We stayed in touch in 02. He popped back up last year. Um, we've been emailing. There's an intellectual, funny, it's wonderful. He's a great guy. But when he asked marriage, I just went, I felt like a, a vault door or a piece of um, granite just blocked my wow. mom. It didn't connect. I don't want to say what state he's in, but he's not California. It just, I thought, fly back. Let's go see him. Revisit. But then I started remembering and feeling. And it's it, it, storm. It, it, it felt like something I couldn't live without, of course. Right, right. But I can't give, it's not that my life's like anybody else's, like I'm on top of the world and so busy. But he said, when are you going to give up 
time in your busy life to come marry me. This is a man that, going back to the candles, never emoted, never expressed feeling. So I was dumbfounded. Okay. But I wrote him a letter, nice, explaining where I am, how I feel, how honored, and yeah, but. Thank you. But let's leave the door open in case there's a reunion with school or something. I kept it nice. Have right. not heard from him. He never responded. And that's okay. But I had to speak for me. Yes, I want to be married. But I'm not so desperate. I'm going to just go because it's a it's it's an invitation. It's a proposal. And and I'm glad you said that just because it's presented to you doesn't mean you need to, it could be a test. You don't yes. need to, yes. you don't need to do it. Yeah. No, you're right. But the love candles, like if I really thought this guy was it and we just needed to work on it, I would probably do some good luck power and um, soulmate power to bump it up and make us a little more cozy, romantic and communicative. It's not worth it because it's not there for me, right? Gotcha. But if it's a situation that I feel like, oh, this is worth tampering with just to turn the heat up, you bet I'll do it because it works if it's right. If it's right. I, I'm glad you spoke on it, too, because for some reason with me, everybody wants to see me with somebody. Everybody is so concerned with, oh, oh, my God, who are you dating? But there has to be something to it because nobody catches my eye. Like, I'm just not. You're not there yet. I'm just not there. It's just like I tell people he's not here yet. I don't see him yet. You will have the ring. You will have the marriage. You will have the beamer, whatever you want. You'll have that later, but not yet. Or I'll say you haven't met him yet. Yeah, but what about this one? Is he coming back from the past? No, it's the past. It didn't work. It's not going to work again. Well, how do you know? I'm like, how do I know? I can tell <laughs> what's going on. But people don't want to hear the truth. They want the fairy tale. He's coming back. He's going to call. Yesterday. Guy must be in his 70s, late 60s. I don't know. His name's Joey. I don't even know where he lives. He divorced some lady three, four years ago. She's already living with someone else, and he's waiting for her to call him. No, it's over. I said, he's. I said, did someone so tell you he's going to come back? Yes, because this other psychic that I know who has never had anything happen, because I have a lot of her clients, and I get them on the right road when they've, been hurt with false hope i said i can't help you i said if she told you she's going to but it, you have to look at the fact it hasn't happened in three years well how do you know it won't i said then you, i can't help you you just have to wait you so the poor guy's gonna wait okay wait for what for nothing and then he's gonna be sad or then or he's gonna call you a fraud it's just it's yeah. It's so it's so silly. I waited. So, I, somebody said he was going to come back. We're going to get married after college. I waited. Then I found out he was married, but he never told me. But I waited. We all go through the hope. This is it. How can you not love me, need me, want me, desire me? What's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? People, the girls especially, well, why, why, why doesn't he want me? What did I do? Why is he with her? It's the soul again. There's a connection. Somebody's feeling it or not feeling it. My job is to soften the wording as to why he may not be into her mm. because he didn't feel it or connect or she was too needy or desperate or whiny or not mature or standing up on her own, whatever. Maybe he didn't. she didn't look like his mother. I don't know. Right? Or he didn't like her in bed, or he didn't like the cooking. There's some reason a guy says no, and there's some reason girls say no. Right? True. Very true. But then there's those that have been rejected that need to know what's wrong with them. I said, it's not you. But they can't hear their own responsibility. It's about them, him, yeah. it, her. I get the gay guys, the lesbians, I don't care what gender, what sexuality preference you have we all have feelings we still feel the connection so let me ask you this while we're talking about the spirit before we get into astrology are <laughs> people are people born gay uh, it's storm show Ay, it's storm show